Michael Crichton was this creative visionary. He was a director, he was a novelist, a screenwriter. He was also very involved in television. In fact, he was the only creator to have the number one book, film, and television show at the same time. One of the things I love most about Michael Crichton is how accessible his writing was. You know, he worked in a lot of crazy cutting edge science and he brought these into his stories like Jurassic Park at heart was about fractals and chaos theory. Um, the novel Prey focused on nanotechnology. Uh, Timeline was about time travel but he wrote these books in such a way as not to alienate people who didn't like science fiction. He brought them all into the fold and it just went down like a sugar pill. Well I kind of came to discover Michael Crichton later in life and I, I just picked up Jurassic Park, I'd seen the film, but I just picked the book up and I wanted to read it. And I thought, wow, this guy can do whatever he wants. He's interested in these things like fractals, he's interested in chaos theory, so he just wrote a book about it. And so it encouraged me on my project to just write about what interested me. So for Wayward Pines, at the time I didn't know what the big reveal was going to be. I just knew I was fascinated by suspended animation which we find in nature everywhere, especially in seeds. And I was fascinated by flash mutation, which is the evolutionary theory that explains how sometimes species will make sudden great leaps in their evolution. I just was fascinated by these two things separately. And those came together as I was trying to figure out this series called Wayward Pines. And I realized, hey, I can spend some time figuring out these theories and reading about these things that I would want to do anyway, and I can incorporate those into this cool plot idea I have. So it became like, you know, writing as self-education. With Dark Matter, which was my follow-up to Wayward Pines, I wanted to do something kind of bigger and better than I'd ever written before, which I also knew that I needed to do something scary. And something that was really scary but also appealing to me was quantum mechanics which is the study of how particles behave at the subatomic level. And that may sound like it's nothing that applies to our daily lives, but at the subatomic level, particles appear sometimes to be in two places at the same time, or in multiple realities. And when you scale that up to our world, to this macro world, you start getting into the concept of something called the multiverse, which basically says that there are an infinite number of realities, each created when we make a choice. And I wanted to play in that field. And so uh, I would probably not have had the courage to do it if I hadn't read the books of Michael Crichton and seen how someone like that just followed their natural curiosity and figured out a way to interweave it with commercial storytelling. <laughs>